Yeah, for me, whatever. Hey, babe. Kills, you know I miss you so much. Like, when I come out west, I gotta be. Listen up. I just popped on here because um, I'm getting so good at doing my makeup. And I just wanted y'all to see it. Like, that's really what it was about. And I'm just, this is what y'all must say. But, you know, I've been really, like, dieting and stuff. And, like, my stomach is giving flat flat. So, I came to shut it off, too. Because y'all already know. I got to let y'all see how flat the stomach is. Thank you. Yes, kills, you know I love you so much. I miss you so much. Let me let y'all get into the flatness of it. Now, don't mad my mirror because y'all know I got to get that fixed, okay? I don't want to hit it. Just get into these abs, though. Okay? The abs trying to come in. Y'all see it like... Like, not trying to get some abs, though. It's working, it's working, it's working. But, yeah, so that and I did my makeup today, so. <sighs> it's not easy, I swear. It's like, if I don't consume some fucking lettuce, then the ass gonna grow. It's just. The stomach gonna be chubby. You just ain't right. Your highness, thank you so much. You know, you already, you always pop in and show out. I'll fuck with you. Yeah, so if I don't eat right, y'all, I swear to God, I'd be fucked up, like, for real. Like, I said, God, you only want me to, if you only want me to eat lettuce for the rest of my life, just say that. <sighs> you know? But anyway, I'm working on it. I'm working on, like, internal and external health like you know doing facials y'all know i just got the little deal with the little makeup brand so i'm like a makeup brand ambassador which is incredible like you know it's exciting because i never thought i was like a pretty girl so to me that's like a pretty girl job you know so i'm excited about that yeah it's hard bro do I count my calories? Nah, I can't really count cal calories. That's too time consuming. I just like try because I, I think that if you overweight, you honestly just be overeating. Cause I honestly do just be overeating. Like I overly indulge. Just, I just do what I want. So I just been trying to be sensible, you know, eating to live. <laughs> You're not going crazy on the food. Cause food just be food and like when I see, oh my god, like. Thank you, but I swear to God, y'all, everything I love, I never felt like a pretty girl. You know, I always been a thick girl. I always had body, but I never felt like I was like the girl. You know how them pretty girls be? Light skin, cute girls with the, you know, I was never one of those. Y'all know. Do I know how to cook spaghetti? Who don't? <laughs> you know how to cook spaghetti, shit. I know you do. Shit, I don't like. But y'all know I definitely got to represent the brand. Shout out to Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place always keeping y'all girl real snatched and making me so much better at doing my makeup. And I don't know what it is about this, like, pretty girl thing that I've been on lately because a bitch is feeling cute. So I've just been on some internal and external health and beauty and, you know, facials and regular massages and, you know, just keeping it real cute and classy and I guess I'm growing up. Y'all know how this shit go. Like, I really actually care about, you know. And I don't know who I've been here since the beginning, but I used to wear lashes like every day. I start wearing my lashes because it's so much of a hassle to keep them up. So, I don't know. I've just been on my big girl shit. So, is I'm still on TikTok, you know it. I'm about to make one tonight because it's just in my pajamas, though. Yeah. 
I love y'all though. I be missing y'all. I just don't like I be going to class. <sighs> then after class, I be having I just I feel like I always got something to do, you know? But that's no excuse. We finna get on top of this shit. Like I owe y'all. I owe y'all to post for y'all. Like I gotta post for y'all. Like y'all literally my day one. So I'm definitely gonna post for y'all for sure. You know? Um you said shake something right quick. You must think you in a fucking strip club. Like, boy, if you don't get your little ass out of here. Thank you, Trey. What be making y'all feel like y'all finna come get a free lap dance? The fuck? Boy, if you don't take your little couple of dollars down to your local strip club and pay them young ladies. You said DM me for some... What's my major accounting? That's a good question. Nobody ever asks me that. Um, I'm not really actually wearing the fit, but I'll show y'all what I got on or whatever. Shit, I don't like that Drake song with um, Chief Keef been in my head. Because I just love to hear Chief Keef back on the motherfucking track. Like, come back. I love you more. Ain't nothing in this motherfucking world free. <laughs> For real. I swear to God. You know, if y'all finna come in this motherfucker like Spike Lee trying to executive produce my life, you gotta pay for that. Fuck you think this is? Ain't shit free. Thank you. I've been getting like really better at it like so much. I'm gonna tell y'all why because since I've been doing the um, makeup brand ads like they've been shooting me and stuff and i just be, be watching how they do my makeup and stealing it like just learning skills from there and i'm really getting good at it shit i don't like that shit been in my head like stuck thank you free smoke i told y'all i was gonna go live yesterday and shit but um I just was sad to say, I be, listen, you know what I got to do something about my energy. Like, some days I be having, like, crazy dumb energy, and then some days I just don't want to do shit. I be, like, a part-time couch potato, and that's not good. You know? I got to figure out ways to, like, get my energy back up. Maybe if I just go vegan, but that's so hard. Like, full-on vegan, like, full-on. <laughs> You know, but I, that might be the only way. I be tired. Like, I, I don't be having no reason to be tired. I just be tired. Like, it's not like I be having no look kids running me crazy, nothing. I don't be having mushroom coffee. Is you being serious or is you talking about shrooms? Because <laughs> y'all be bugging. But I'm being serious, though. Like, my energy be like. I be full throttle energy. Like today, I'm up and at them, but tomorrow, like I, I thought I get out of class. Some days I just be like tired as fuck for no reason. I be mad at myself too. Should I don't like? What the fuck is y'all on though? What's going on on this Monday? And you know what, low key though, I'm glad I popped on on Monday because. People hate Monday, so we finna turn up on this good Monday. How y'all coming though? What y'all got going? I miss you too. You know I love me some y'all. Listen, um, yeah, of course, pop in. So listen. They've been asking me if I could do an interview, right? Like, two different people asked me, right? But what the fuck is I'm going to talk about? Like, I don't feel like I do nothing worthy of talking, you know? It's called Raz Morning Co Mushroom Coffee. I'm going to look it up because I'll be tired for no reason. But I hate, like, I don't want to, I can't stand no fake famous person. Like, you know, people who be, like, fake lit. Like, I don't like that. So... I don't, I don't feel like I have a reason to do an interview. You get me like, y'all know about Cody Wendy. And that's, y'all know I be going to school and writing on the side, like. But I don't feel like I got a resume big enough to have something to talk about. 
You know, it's weird. Like, you know, I don't know. But I be telling, I don't, I be telling them like I don't get nothing to talk about. Like, I don't feel like I'm interested. <laughs> I literally just be in my own little world. Do a movie on Tube. Tubi. Like act. Act in it. I was thinking about City Banker. What up? I was thinking about maybe I should start doing my own like. Which y'all know I got a YouTube channel, right? I just don't utilize it. But I was thinking maybe I should start like just letting y'all see what I do more. Because y'all don't really know what the fuck is going on. So, would y'all watch it? I'm not an Aquarius, but that's interesting that you would say I'm actually a Leo. But Aquarius are real to they self and kind of quiet. So, that was actually a good um, guess. But no, I'm a Leo. Y'all, would y'all watch it? Would y'all, y'all think I should start like just vlogging what I do? I can't stand when people talk about other people on YouTube. Like, I'm so tired of people gossiping about people. That shit is really starting to blow me. You said what? You said DM you, like, bro. Now you know damn well I'm not finna DM you. Is you cool? Yeah, maybe I should um just start vlog. It's going to be about myself, though. Like, I'm going to start taking y'all with me. Letting y'all see what I do, what I be eating. Because y'all know I'm a fucking foodie. And food be fooding. Like, oh, my God. Food be fucking fooding. Like, I got to stop this shit. We probably could go on us a little vegan quest or a healthy food. But it got to be fire, though. It got to still be good and, you know, hitting on everything for a thousand. But still be fire. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, free surf, you already know. Stop it. But yeah, I do think maybe I should do that. I don't know. I don't want to be corny. Like, I'm so traumatized by being corny. And motherfuckers be chasing it. Like, they just be overdoing the corny. What's up, baby boy JJ? JJ, what's the word? City Baker, you going crazy again tonight. But I just really more so came in to pop in with y'all, you know, to say hi or whatever. Shit I don't like. I'm going to be over whooping. <laughs> right, motherfuckers be chasing me. I don't like that shit. I mean, let me, get, let me stop. To each his own. I don't get nothing to do with it, but... This my better sad, cause I don't know, it just is. <laughs> Shit I don't like. Damn, you just said some city bank. I ain't gonna lie. The more you think about it, the more you will talk yourself out of it. I need to just go. For sure. Somebody said, I want that turkey. Now you just made me start thinking about Thanksgiving. Do y'all think I'll be cooking or not? Should I don't? Y'all hear that sound? That's my dog water fountain. Should I don't like? I 
am thick as hell. Oh my God. Like, I'm just trying to. Damn, I want to be skinny so bad. Oh, what do I got to do? What the fuck? I'm finna go on the skinny quest. That's it. You know? For everybody asking about the DM, I think you're the second one. Now, you know damn well. First of all, I don't check no DMs. Don't be in no DMs. Don't care about no motherfucking DMs. So, if you can't pop your shit in the comments, you ain't never gonna talk to me. I hate that DM shit. You said where I'm from? Chicago. Shit I don't like. Mikey, you about to get your troll page in this and boot it the fuck up out of here. Like, you, this must be your first time here. But like, you're not the creative director of this live. If you don't like what you're seeing, baby, hit the X in the corner and get your ass on. We don't know what you look like anyway. Thank you, y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. I really, um, just really missed it, y'all. You know, so I had to come on here and say, hey. See y'all or whatever. Because I don't think I, I think I don't even really be posting no more. So I got to be going live. Because I really don't be posting at all no more. Like I used to post like every day. Now I barely do shit. What's new with you? I'm cooling. Trying to get snatched or whatever. <laughs> I be steady thinking I'm doing something. Ain't doing shit. What's the creative tools? I really don't be knowing what the hell is going on. Like it's crazy because like I'm so like social media ish, but I really don't be knowing what the fuck I'm doing. You said shut the fuck up. You need to sleep. Let me get rid of this fucking goofy. Like, what the fuck? I don't know why people come on here playing with me. Like, bitch, stop playing with me. Like, I like my blacklist not longer than the follower list. Like, is you stupid? I keep on telling y'all, don't come in here typing shit. Like, I'm not going to pretend like I can't read. If I read that shit, your ass out of here. I don't even see why girls be letting that shit stay. Like, why would you let a motherfucker be in real or gas anybody? Why would you let somebody disrespectful stay in your shit? I'm instant hitting the block. Boop. No question. <laughs> like, boop, boop. I love the block. Like, block your ass. You ever block somebody so bad that y'all can't even unblock each other? Let me get rid of Mikey Thirsty ass because he fucking thirsty. Them be the motherfuckers who be stealing my content and go making their own page, acting like they miss Juju. Like, bitch, you can't manipulate me to do what you want me to do. Get the fuck out of here. But yeah, like I was saying, I will block your ass so good that I can't even unfound you to undo the shit. You ever like block somebody, they block you back, but then that y'all stuck like that. <laughs> I'm literally going through that right now with my cousin. She's like, bitch, you gotta unblock. I don't know how to unblock you, bro. And if you like what? I don't know what you're talking about. And if you like what? Y'all just be typing shit to type. Y'all don't be talking about nothing with me. I'm trying to see how y'all coming for real. Y'all, you already know. Free my friend. Free the fucking wave. I can't even believe Surf been gone this long. Like, that shit is wow, bro. That was like my favorite argue, buddy. Like, we used to have some fun, toxic times. <laughs> but we loved it. That shit crazy. Just imagine somebody's number being in your phone. You can't even. 
That shit is so crazy. Thank you. You said you trying to you come and direct with me. About what? Like, what did you talking about? I'm trying to understand what you mean. How did you... Oh, because I said how you coming. That's like a Chicago figure of speech for, like, what you doing. That man said, I'm coming direct with you. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm coming direct with you as well. What's the word? What's that word? What's that word? Um, you tell me, so he said, how many times do I have to try your kisses to see if I like it? Like, one thing about me, I can't stand that corny is, freaky man is talking. Like, don't come in here talking freaky man. Like, and I know you've been before because I didn't seen you. Like, I'm not into the freaky man. Like, it, that just is cringing. Like, it just, it chills and grosses me out. Like, how many times do I have to, like, boy, how many times do you have to come in with that freaky shit before you get kicked out is the question. Like, why niggas just can't talk on no chill shit? Like, why it always got to be a freaky man answering the chat? Like, come on, bro. That should be making me scared. Like, if you can't control your hormones on the live, how the fuck do you walk around all day, every day? Like, for real. Like, that's some shit. Like, you be this shit. I'm going to tell y'all something. This internet shit be scaring the fuck out of me. Because, like... The way niggas be talking and DMing and shit like that, I be thinking to myself, like, I could be walking past one of these freaky ass men right now. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, this shit be wow. You said, um, how much do I weigh? That's like asking the bitch how many bodies do they get? <laughs> Bitches forever go lie about they weight for real. Um, I don't know. 150 pounds. That's all a bitch ever gonna say. <laughs> 150. <laughs> it's 150. The fuck? It's always will forever be 150. When I'm 50 years old, it's still gonna be 150. 150 for life. <laughs> you know? How much do I weigh? 150. Fuck. <laughs> it's forever going to equal 150. So what else is going on? What the fuck else is going on? I hate when they do this weird shit. Like, let me see who's doing it. So I can block his stupid ass. My like, boy. Who told you to start putting all them fucking dots so you could delete the comments? Like, bitch. It's always a motherfucker thinking they Spike Lee on my motherfucking lab. Like, bitch. Now you got your stupid ass blocked. Answer you about what? I'm going to give y'all a 360. I got you. Answer you about what? No, I'm from out south. But everybody think I'm from out west. Like, my whole life people been thinking I was from out west. But I'm from out south, actually. I think I probably got to look like I'm from out south, but I do act like I'm from out west. Um, you said it's we finna go out for Halloween. I'm so glad you asked me that because first of all, I didn't get so many Halloween invites, right? Like so many. It's weird because like so many people didn't ask me about Halloween going out, right? But I got like I feel like Halloween, to go out on Halloween, is like a jinx. You get me? Like, I just don't believe in going out on Halloween. It's like some bad shit always happen to people. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's never, it's always something strange, you know? To me, it's like, I don't know. Call me, I don't know. I be, I'm like a superstitious person, but I be feeling like it's too many, like, negative spirits 
You know what I mean? Like, dollar, what's the word? Like, y'all know evil is real, right? Like, um, I feel like evil can hide on Halloween, so I don't be like that. Mm -mm. The one thing you never finna see me do is go out on no Halloween. And, like, I'm not super religious. I'm spiritual, but I'm not religious. You get me? Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not finna be in church every Sunday reading scriptures and shit, but... I just know evil is real, so I don't I don't play with that. Like I'm not finna come out sad when I feel like evil spirits can have like I'm cool. Like the mask, all that shit means something. You know? I don't know, so I know people like to do it dress up. Like I dress up for y'all. And then if I do go out, it usually be like Never the weekend of Halloween. Like, never that. You know, it'll be the week before or something like that. I never go out for Halloween weekend. Never or Halloween day. Ever. I'm so superstitious about that. And if y'all go back in history, y'all gonna see it's a lot of shit that happened on Halloween weekend or day. I don't play with that. Just weird eye shit, you know? But, yeah. Let me see if I can. I'm gonna try to move this over so y'all can see me. Oof. Yeah, I'll hold it. Oh, my makeup right here. But I'm tired of going over to the mirror, so let me see. Can you see me? Does this work? Not really. But yeah. That all, that's not a good look. That's not a good stand. We gotta get a better stand. But yeah. All that Halloween going out, we ain't doing it. CD Banger, you be going crazy in here, like for real. You know, I fuck with you. You just wanna see me in person. I don't come out that much. For real, honestly, I don't come out that much. Do y'all feel like um, it was like after the, after standing in for the coffee shit, I'm more comfortable in and out. Is anybody else feel like that? Like when I go out, it'd be like a whole ass. Ugh, ugh. <sighs> yes, I love it. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yes, when I go outside, it's like a whole is. Oh my God. <laughs> I be scared of outside. Like, it's some scary shit outside. Like, maybe I, you know what? I might need to talk to a therapist or something. Because I'm really, like, traumatized from outside, like, so bad. <laughs> like, for real. I be avoiding the shit out of outside. And it don't make it no better than, like, they done made everything so, like, convenient. So where you could pretty much order everything. My one, I ain't gonna tell y'all I never did it, cause I have. I, I really don't like to um, order my produce <laughs> from like the little shopping shits, like you know, Instacart, no shit like that. But I have done it before, you know. But I really, that'd be like my like, okay, Juju, you got to get your ass up and at least go get you some apples, oranges and shit. Like, you know, you can't rely on people to pick that out for you. Like, you got to do that on your own. And I'm okay. But besides that, I pretty much order everything. Everything. Like, I can't tell y'all the last time I actually walked through like a mall, you know. First of all. I feel like I just be having a look that make everybody look at me. And then, you know, like, I get uncomfortable. I'm sorry, y'all, people be calling me. I get uncomfortable when, um, you know, I'm always getting looked at. So I be trying to, if I do go outside, I be camouflaged. I should show y'all my glasses because I be wearing glasses and shit, trying to have myself. But... That should be giving me a little anxiety.
You said, yes, you white. You the only one that said you was white. <laughs> you making yourself stand out as being different. We don't know what you is. Like, why would you say that? I'm a biracial person, so I'm not ever caring about what nobody race is. That don't matter to me. But y'all really be segregating yourself and then trying to make it like somebody segregating y'all. Like nobody's thinking about that. Plus, it was this, it was this one time that I used to I was messing with this white boy. Don't tell y'all about that. I ain't tell y'all about the one. Should I tell y'all? Should I tell y'all about the white boy? Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna tell y'all. So this white boy used to be trying to talk to me and shit. I don't want to tell y'all what he did for a living because I feel like y'all will figure out who he is. Because there ain't a lot of white boys that do this. But this white boy used to be trying to talk to me and shit, right? And I used to be like kind of playing him because in my head, I really felt like y'all know what they be saying about like white boys in the bedroom or whatever, right? When I tell you that white boy was, I said, God damn, fooled the shit out of me. You know? He wanted to get a little serious. So something wrong with me because I be having issues with like taking it all the way and getting serious, you know? But he wanted to like get real serious. And you know, white boys got a different approach to getting serious. Like they just be like, move in. You know, I don't know. I don't know what made me backpedal. Sometimes I regret that because he was. He was hitting on. He was hitting on some for a thousand. I can't lie. But it is what it is. I feel like what's meant to happen is going to happen, you know. Sometimes my man be so stuck on somebody else that I don't even see the person that's, you know. But that white boy was hitting on some for a thousand. I can't even lie. You know, it is what it is. Damn. Now I feel like, I think I told y'all this. Like, now I just kind of gave up on the relationship love shit. Like, I feel like I'm going to end up by myself. Because I'm just tired of entertaining it. Like, I don't even care no more. Like, it is what it is. Juju going to end up by herself with a whole bunch of dogs, you know, like I am now, chilling on my own shit. It is what it's like. I've come to grips with being single. Like, I've come to grips with it. You ever come to grips with just being single? Like, I've come to grips with it. I'm going to be single. Like, I'm going to be single. I know I'm going to be, like, it is what it, I'm going to be single. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> you know, no babies, no. It's just gonna be me and my dogs. I'm gonna be single. Like, I used to be like, oh my God, I'm getting older. I need to, like, like once you turn 30, you be like, listen, it's time for me to find somebody, settle down, maybe have a baby. Like, and that only lasted for me for like a year. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I just. Niggas be doing what they want to do. Girls be doing what they want to do. Everybody doing what they want to do. And I'm just more comfortable not entertaining it. I can't do it. It's so stressful. I don't know. It's, at once upon a time, like, dating used to be so easy and simple. And, like, now it's so stressful. Like, I, it's just too stressful. Like, you know? I be in the crib just chilling. Nobody bothers me. I be chilling. I don't got to worry about who, you know, motherfucker liking somebody's page. I don't even want the art, the relationship arguments in my life. Y'all know what I'm talking Y'all know what I'm talking about? Our sister Tori, free Tori. Like, when I tell y'all Tori is such a nice guy, 
<laughs> from my experience. Like, always was a gentleman. Never, just never. I got such a positive story, like, feedback. Strictly platonic. Like, it was never, like, you know, we never, like, flirted or hung out or nothing. He just was a good person. Like, great friend. Gave me feedback on my music and stuff like that. Like, really, when I was writing Code and Wendy, I was getting, having him to proof proof it. He was like, I just sound good, Juju. I think you can do better on this part. Like, really helping. Mm hmm That was 2020. But, yeah, this shit was, it just be stressful today, bro. It's stressful. It's stressful. It's really stressful. It's fun, but it's stressful, you know? Like, I be having fun, but then I don't want to deal with none of the drama that comes along with dating, like. <sighs> Has any woman ever declared love to me? Like, no. Um, I know I told y'all about me with the girls, like. Now, listen, girls be beautiful, you know? And I think every woman has had a thought of a threesome like you just do and you might try just to see what it's like like that's cool or whatever you know which i've done it i'm not gonna sit here and act like i haven't but i have because I, I was curious but i've never ever seen a girl and been like oh my god i want i just want her like i've never felt like that you get me it was more so of a let me try it out type of thing it was never like oh my god but I've seen dudes where I'm like, oh my God, he just takes my soul. Like, so I know I'm a, I know I'm like a heterosexual girl because only men ever turn me on to that magnitude. Like, well, like my heart skips to be when I'm thinking about him. I want to text him. I want to, you know, now I've flirted with girls, right? Beautiful. Like, it's been like, even the one girl that you know we had the, that I did the thing with, she's like a known girl. She's a beautiful girl, and like I think she's like into girls or whatever. And you know we like would talk and text and stuff like that. But I was never like into um, pursuing it. You know, like it it wasn't a thing for me. It wasn't about. I think it wasn't about a didn't like the three. I just wanted. I was curious. But it's not something I'm finna be like, oh, yeah, we got to do this. You know? At the same time, I wanted to do it on my own terms, not because I was trying to, like, please a dude I was dating type of thing. You know how girls do that? Like, I wanted it to be on my terms. Plus, I feel like if I really love my dude, I can't do it half a threesome with him. Because I don't want nobody breathing on him. Like, But for this, with this particular girl, it was like, you know. We would like talk and text and stuff like that. But I was never like, yeah, you want to go on a second, like a date? Like, I never felt like that, you know? Plus, I told y'all, like, I never met a girl. Like, girls be fan as fuck. I don't know. Girls be fan as fuck, right? But I never seen a girl. I was just like, oh, my God. I have never felt like that about a girl. And you got to go off your feelings you know like a girl has never like aroused me i just was legitimately curious because it was like a thing you know but it's totally overhyped like i wasn't missing shit granted it was cool like it's off my bucket list i've done it i've tried it it's whatever but you know i think for you to want to continue you have to be like sexually into women and I, I don't feel like I am you know I can't do shit but be honest with y'all because it is what it is but yeah I don't think enough girls be honest you know I feel like all girls be one um just be so pick me, like, you know, pretending like they into everything and really not. You 
You said you bet they look at me like that. That's cool. I mean, I'm not one of those girls that's anti. Like, if a girl flirt with me and stuff, like, you know, we got our flirt back or whatever. But I don't mean it. <laughs> like, I'm not like, you know, I have had girls to, like, take it. Like, they actually be like, okay, bitch, with them, what's going on? Like, and I'm just, no. Nah. I'm into guys. Totally. Totally. Like. I have met guys before where I'm like, oh shit, in real life, you know, but never a girl. Like, I've admired a woman's beauty before, like, oh, wow, I love her, she's so pretty. It never goes past so pretty for me. It's never an arousal. It's just like, oh, my God, she's so pretty, and that's where it ends. I'm never like, damn, I'll take her home, and it don't ever go that far. So what else y'all wanna know? I be trying to pop on him like this do be the interview, honestly. Like I be coming on here talking to y'all. This be the interview, like this be why I'm talking to you. But anyway, we is gonna get this YouTube shit popping because I just want y'all to know more about me. And I think we I said this before, but I'm legitimately ready now, like I'm ready. I be having so much shit to do, but I don't. But I do. But I be lazy. <laughs> but I gotta, like, get back to y'all because y'all really my day ones. It's more so that. Um, somebody said, what's your sound? I'm a Leo. You know? But yeah, as far as the girl thing, mm -mm. it's just not for me. But that's why I told y'all, like, then I be feeling like every time I, like, maybe get into a gal with other, then it just be something that I found out that's unfavorable. Maybe I be overthinking it, because nobody is perfect, but I don't know, it just be a little stressful. Like, I don't want to be stressed out. I just want to enjoy and have fun. You know? And honestly, just chilling, I be enjoying and having fun. Stop talking about your race. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, it's making me, it's giving you want to stand out because you a white boy. Like, that don't mean shit to me. Like, I don't give a fuck if you was purple. Stop saying that. It's weird. You said, where's I'm from? Chicago. I told y'all that already. You must have just got here. But I told y'all I only ever dated black dudes, right? I know I told y'all that before. So. That shit. I did, but I did tell y'all that I messed around with the white boy. Which the white boy was trying to date me, which. I still kind of regret not taking him up on that offer, but. You said it's my body natural. Yes. 100%. But yeah, bonjour. I do kind of regret that. You thought so? You be knowing. You be knowing. You be knowing. Thank you, Will. Thank y'all. Thank y'all from Chicago. So, yeah, but anyway, like, in a relationship, I only ever dated black dudes. That could be why I'm so fucking traumatized for <laughs> relationships, <laughs> like, in real life. You know what it been? I feel like, um, I don't know, because I don't want to be disrespectful, but in a lot of spaces, Guys was doing more for me than they was relationships. They was guys would be in full on relationships, like living with their girlfriend, and to be entertaining me and doing more for me for them. So it's just a little scary for me. Like I don't ever want to turn into the girl that you ignoring for a savage, 
another bitch. Like a girl that you chasing. You get me? So it's just scary. See. If you said something, I just missed it. I'm sorry. We don't blame you. <laughs> right. This 2023, like, is motherfuckers even loyal you these days? Like, could you actually date in real life? I think everybody a cheater. Everybody. The whole world. <laughs> Who's loyal? I feel like you can't be, you definitely can't be loyal in your 20s and 30s. I just don't believe that. Maybe when you 40 and up, maybe it'll work out then. But like, 20s and 30s, I just don't believe it. Is I'm single? Yeah. I don't know. I think even if you had the baddest bitch in the world, you still gonna cheat. If you can. You know? You said, am I a cheater? I don't think girls are cheaters. I think girls be on get back. So, like, they know when you on bullshit, so they just do it back. You get me? I don't think girls kick it off. I just think they finish it. You know? You said that would be you because you over 40, but I'm not. So I'm still like, I don't want you to come. Don't come fucking with me when you didn't get old and boring. Like, you still got to fuck like you 20 to be with me. <laughs> like, you know, like, I'm still I'm still young enough to like a toxic shit a little bit. Just a little splash of toxic. Just a little sprinkle of toxic. Like, you know, we got to argue a little bit and, you know fuck it out and you know but I can't take all that like disloyal shit be too disloyal like these relationships be too disloyal granted if your man go and fuck somebody else and you don't find out about it what you don't know won't hurt you but niggas don't know how to do that niggas is letting bitches Call them late as hell, you know. Niggas is sending dick pics. Niggas is uh, spending their cash for their household on a bitch on this like type shit. Like niggas be wilding out. They just can't keep it. Oh, we fucked and I don't know you no more. Like that's different. Niggas can't do that. That's that be the problem. And I don't want to like go crazy because like granted i haven't really ever gave my heart to none of these niggas like i know if i do and you play with me i'm gonna go crazy on you and like sometimes it's easier to just be cool or fuck buddies or you know talk on the phone or something than to give you my feelings because i don't play with my feelings you know but yeah. You said it's a chick named Vanessa on another side using my pics. But you know I'm Drudgery, so. Fuck Vanessa. I really feel like at this point, this 2023, right? If y'all still falling for catfish, y'all, you deserve it. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> like, for real. Because, like, nigga, how the fuck... DJ Legendary, what's the word? Thank you. Like, how the fuck do Neve and Max still got a fucking job? <laughs> like, for real. Y'all ain't FaceTiming. Y'all ain't. Y'all just sending y'all self off thinking you talking to a bitch. Like, you deserve it. Let they uh, send you off. They over overseas in the hut. So I'm goddamn well having you to cash out them. You deserve it. You finna send your money to somebody for no reason that you don't even, you can't even validate. You deserve it. I don't even sleep over that shit. Listen, I be tagging all the pictures, literally putting Miss Dridri on all the photos, all the videos, and niggas still be believing that shit. So, they deserve it. I can't stress over that. It is what it is. 
Like, do I look like my name would be Vanessa? What the fuck? <laughs> What's the dude? Niggas be thinking of the dumbest names. Like, what bitch do you know in 2023 named Vanessa? Like, they just be thinking of anything. Like, and you, niggas still be believing it. Like, that shit, wow. What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? How y'all doing? I love you back. Not give you a kiss. Come on, don't get your, don't come here with the freaky man. I hate that shit so bad. Like that freaky man shit is just cringy. Like stop. Then you and this motherfucker on the troll page. What's for dinner? You said like you said it depends on what. Hold on, let me see. First of all, thank you, Twin, for buying the badge. I'll fuck with that. And you said it depends on the maturity of your partner. True, listen, I'm not I'm not unrealistic. Like, I'm not. I understand that, like, I do feel like men can have detached sexual episodes. I do feel like that. I don't think women can, really. You get me? So, like, I do feel like a man can get drunk at a club, probably sleep with a bitch and never remember it. You <laughs> get me like, yes, what a pap ass. I'm trying to lose weight, so I ain't been on no pap ass. Like, don't bring it up, man. Pap ass send me coupons. Every does like they know me, like they be stalking me, but um, I'm not unrealistic to that. Like, it happens. But I do feel like niggas let it go too far. You know? You said, did I holler at Surf? I haven't talked to Surf in a long time. I need to write him or something, because I don't be wanting people to feel like they out of sight and out of mind. Cause that's really my friend. That's my friend. They took my friend. Now it's some real shit. Fuck them for like another my friend. Like this. Why you all like a my friend? Why? That's like my real friend. I'm shitty a little bit. Ooh, you said, what's my opinion on the DJ Envy stuff? Ugh, that's sticky. I just feel like, I mean, granted, I do feel like he got a little finesse. But I also feel like he knew enough to make a decision to entertain it or not. You get me? Like, and shit, you know how that shit go, like. When you put your name behind some shit and that shit fried, you merged something that you ain't even know that was real. Either way, it was you was wrong, bro. Why would you merge something you don't know that's real? Either you merged something you didn't know was real or you knew it wasn't real and you still merged it. Either way, you went wrong. You get me? Like, you a whole husband and daddy. You got to make smarter decisions than that. Your whole family depend on you. That's how I feel. He said he thought he was going to get away with that shit. Shh, listen, I think before you do any crime, you got to ask yourself, is you willing to deal with the consequences? I mean, or anything in life. Everything got a bad side. You know, like, I be on the internet. I know motherfuckers is going to talk shit about me. They going to get troll pages, put negative shit underneath my car. It's going it to come with it. If I can't deal with that, then I just shouldn't be on the internet. You get me? Like, you got to... Be able to deal with both sides of the coin with anything. You know? So, that's unfortunate because I hate to see a family, like, go through it because the whole family going to go through that shit with them. But at the same time, you definitely do got to make smarter choices, like. Even if I'm feeling funny about the shit, um, nah, I'm not willing to compromise all my, cause you making enough, then I really feel like too, God don't bless you if you able to not, you know, like, sometimes you will get away with some shit if you need it. Y'all get what I'm trying to say? Like, it's like God to give you a pass, like, okay, you had the finesse, but y'all needed that. <laughs> you get me? But I do feel like when God bless you to not need it and you still do it, you get popped every time. 
Like, if you think about any time you ever got popped, you ever did it. I swear. You ever did it, like. So you got to be careful with that, like. When you catching blessings and you able to really make good, legit cash, like, you get me? You ain't got no be. You being greedy at that point. Greed always gonna. That's a sin, bro. You always gonna go down off greed every time. Every time you get popped, anyway, you overdid it. On the real. So you can't be mad at that. Like, even if, even like, even if I feel like it might be some funny shit. I'm not even finna stick around to find out. Because you could fuck around and find out. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> you can't be like, I ain't finna fuck around and find out. I'm, if I'm even like, hmm, the hmm going to push me off. Like, no, I'm cool, G. Like, I don't know what shorty really doing. You hear me? Because at the end of the day, do that shit really be worth it? Like, even with her, with his shit, like, None of that shit was worth it. Like, it really, I don't think. I don't think nothing, bro. No, none of that shit is worth your time. Because first of all, you don't even know how much time you got. So how could you put a dollar amount on them? Motherfuckers be like, I'll do two years for five million. I'll do like, but how you know you got two years? How do you know you got that? You could have been spent your last time on earth that you could have spent with your kids locked up for a couple dollars. G like. You hear me? <laughs> like, time is with your people is priceless. You can't put no dollar amount on something you don't even know. You can't value put a value on time. So, y'all get what I'm trying to say. Granted, you do like I told you. Sometimes you gotta finesse because you need it, and I understand that. You hear me? But when you don't need that shit, G, like. You get me? <laughs> Going to jail over a motherfucking vacation that you done scammed or a dog is crazy. <laughs> like, for real. It's just, it don't matter. It's not that big of a deal. Motherfuckers got to learn how to be happy, po. <laughs> like, for real. You know, life is how you look at it. Motherfuckers got to stop letting dollar amounts determine their happiness. Because that shit really don't matter. I done had a whole bunch of money and I ain't had no money. And it was never really different in regards to how happy I was, to tell y'all the truth. I mean, granted, you do feel good to fly through and be able to buy whatever you want to buy. Because no matter how much money you get, right, at a certain point, you're going to put the brakes on yourself. Because you're going to start thinking like, I got to have some money for the future, right? But in the beginning, you finna fly through that shit. Now, that is fun. Like, I'm not finna front. Like, I didn't have that fun. But that one, I would never trade that for going to jail. Never. Because time is like, that shit is so foul. Just think about how much your life changed from last year to this year. That's how valuable time You don't know who, what you could do with a few months, a year. Uh, you get me? I just seen motherfuckers go from flat, pole, broke, nothing. And then they done turned up in one year and did they shit. And then it's a whole new them. So you can't toss away no time. Anyway, that's how I feel about that. And then I feel like for the women, too, if you fucking with a dude and you care about him, Start asking questions, sis, so you could discourage him from doing some shit that's finna jeopardize his freedom. Because if I really love a nigga, G, I know, you feel me, I'm finna be, it depends on how I feel about him. Like, if I don't really care about you, I'm finna just be letting you spend all your money on me and not giving a fuck how you making it. But if I care about you, I'm finna give a fuck about how you making it because I don't want you to jeopardize yourself over some shit that don't matter. Like, time with you matter, this shit don't matter. You know? So, we gotta hold the women accountable, too. Like, cause you know when your nigga doing some shit that he ain't supposed to be doing. You feel me? Like, bitches be acting like they don't know. Like, girl, you know, this, 
One plus one ain't equal to two. And you ain't asking no questions because your ass getting a new purse. And that make you foul too. I ain't gonna lie. If you care about them, you know? So, yeah. What I'm cooking tonight? I'm not cooking. I'm trying to be, trying to diet. I don't really know the appropriate ways of dieting. So, I just go through spurts of starvation. <laughs> in real life. So, this is one of them. Right. And then he misses out. And then bitches be lonely. Because then now they whole nigga is gone. And now they a single mom. for When they could have just been like, fuck that shit. Like, that shit is so not worth it. You like. I'd rather have my nigga laid up with me in a studio apartment. Or like the father of my kids in the studio. We all together in one room. And you to be locked up because we was living in the five bedroom house. That shit don't matter. So yeah, I'm just on some, you know. And that should be embarrassing. Like when you trying to be professional in life, and then a motherfucker could pull up some shit like that. Like, no matter what we what we want to say, how we want to call it, we know that shit really stunts your ability to grow your shit. You give me like how you want to, like, cause motherfuckers feel like either you was finessy or you was dumb as hell. Either way, it's only so far they gonna take you. You get me what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying shit not forgivable, but y'all know, like, you not finna get to talking no money talk with a motherfucker who didn't get popped on some shit, you know? Like, you not finna invest your money in no type of way with somebody who ain't, you know? You said uh, humility is key. It's not humiliating. That's See, listen. I know what you're trying to say, but I want to change the trajectory of, like, financial status because it's not humili humili what's humiliating is being a single mom because your husband in jail over some money that's humiliating like having your man with you and raising y'all family together it don't matter if y'all in the studio or a big ass house it's about being together life is about foundation and love like none of this other shit matters I mean, granted, it matters, but I think we put too much value on it. Because I've been happy poor as hell. <laughs> That's how I know it ain't as big as we think it is. Because the best times I can remember in my life, I was poor as hell. Like, I, and I ain't even noticed. Because we was enjoying life. Right. Yeah, now, nah, see, I know, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. But I'm just saying, like, you get what I'm saying, though. Like, motherfuckers be putting too many emphasis on finances. Like, and if money meant so much, how the fuck did you ever have fun when you was poor? <laughs> like, just think about that. If money determined how your life, then how was you enjoying your life when you was poor? You get me? Like, I was having a fucking blast, bro. Like, in real life. Granted, I haven't even made it to, like, no type of real money, right? To the point where I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm rich. I'm, But I'm able to take care of myself. Like, I could afford myself, right? But just this little bit of shit, like, writing for this show and doing this little internet shit be really making people switch up with me that I really been, been poor as hell with having a ball. You hear me? So people be putting too many emphasis on it, like. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Thank you. You know I be coming on here talking. For, I can't do. I can't. I gotta talk for real to y'all though. Like I be trying so hard to come on here and just be like, you know, just pretty and dingy. <laughs> Cause like, you know, I be want to do that something here. like, like, but I just can't do that like. When y'all ask me some shit, I can't do shit but speak from my heart. Not even I know. You know. 
Now, I'm not trying to say that, like, money don't matter. Because it does. Like, but I feel like it's not as a big of a deal as we make it. Like, when you when you willing to leave your family and put yourself in jeopardy of going to prison over money, you overdoing it in real life. Unless y'all fucked up. <laughs> you get me? And you need to do it. Like, I feel like in that instance, God going to understand. But, like, when you already got the means to keep your family cool and you just on some greedy shit, like, you got to relax. Somebody said, you said Hennessy Clear. I think, if that's the question you asked, I think I only had Hennessy Clear one time when I was in Jamaica. Is that where it come from? Because when I was leaving the airport in Jamaica, people was buying a lot of that shit. Because y'all will sell dope to get your dream. Now, granted, it do be some days in my own life where I'm like, nigga, it might be easier to sell drugs. <laughs> you ever had some days where you like, bitch, like, nigga, I'm so tired of taxis. I swear to God. I'm like, gee. It might be easier to not pay these motherfuckers, but it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do, you know? I'd rather make payments to the IRS than to put myself in jeopardy of going to jail in real life. Like, I can't deal with that shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. Granted, I be having bills, but I really be enjoying my little life in my own little pink world, you know? Y'all be funny, though. Y'all be really coming with the questions for real. Having me dead. I be over here laughing. It's like, y'all really be getting me to talking. Like, I really be in this motherfucker like I'm sitting next to somebody. <laughs> Wesley Snipes, for real. I swear to God. <laughs> for real. Give me a building. Like, but no, I be having a chill. Like, okay, Juju, you probably paying... 60% of your monthly income to bills, but it is what it is. You'll be enjoying your little self. Like, this is crazy. You know? But yeah, we gotta, man, fuck that shit. If that was my husband, I would have been like, gee, I don't know what you doing, but I know you need to stop that shit. Nah, sometimes you can't you can't front a motherfucker move like you don't want to say exactly what they doing, but you want to let them know you know. <laughs> That's how I'm finna hit my husband. Like, I don't know what you're doing, but I know you need to cut that shit out. It ain't worth it, you know. Nah, I ain't gonna front your move. We not finna get here and talk about what color the sky is, but bitch, you need to relax. It's not that serious. Like I'm finna put the on my husband right away like you know you don't want to find nobody move you want to <laughs> you know because i don't want to make my husband feel like you know i don't believe girls should be cussing they hell that's kind of weird i'm not gonna like what the fuck is? like i ain't gonna do that you know but i'm gonna hit him with some real nigga shit like i don't know what you got going on but i know you need to chill out Cause we don't need none of this shit. I'm finna hit my husband one of them like <laughs> sit the fuck down. Like, you know. But anyway, that's them. Like, I really my heart goes out to them. They a whole family. Yeah, I really pray it all works out, honestly. Now I ain't gonna I'm not one of them girls. I can't cuss my I don't cuss my I am not finna cuss no man out. It really make you look tacky. You get me? Like, I'm not finna make myself look tacky. Like, you ever seen a, like, a couple arguing, a girl, like, calling the man all type of belittling and shit? Like, you be like, or vice versa. If the man calling the girl all type of belittling and shit, it make them look real bad. Like, mm -mm. I'm not finna be talking to a motherfucker. Like, that's weird. You said, do I ever want to get married? Um, that's a hard question, because it is what it is. If I end up being married, that's cool. But if I, honestly, I really have, like, accepted 
if I just be single for the rest of my life. I'm okay with it. You know? Thank you. Like, if I end up, I literally just said this to myself, like, a week ago. Like, gee, if I end up just being single forever, <laughs> like, then yeah, whatever. I had, I had a time. I really had a time. I'm not mad at it. Am I looking for a long-term partner? I don't even got no emphasis no more. Like, I'm tired of caring. So, if it happens, it's because it was just God's plan. <laughs> like, for real. But I'm tired of, like, I can't put no emphasis on it. Like, I can't, I'm not actively going out. Like, I need to find a husband. Like, I just, that shit is stressful as hell. Like, mm -mm. I can't do that, bro. Like, you know. If I meet somebody and we did, it's that, it's that. But I just can't do that shit no more. Like, that shit. I used to be caring, like, okay, Juju, you turn 30. You got to. Well, boy, listen. Thank you, Twine. You too much of a character or I'm too much of a character? Which one? But yeah, now I be like, man, fuck this shit. Like, I don't care. It is what it is, you know? You said, you get wild sometimes. What? Oh, you tweaking. You said, you need to go. No. That was a lot to read. But what the fuck is you getting wild for? Let you find out what? I'll let him find me. Yeah. You know? It is what it is. I ain't tweaking. Somebody said, you didn't need makeup. You have your... Thank you. I like makeup, though. It's fun. Plus, I actually got chose to do a model for a makeup brand, which is, like, crazy. Because I feel like they only pick beautiful girls to do that. So, I'm, like, super honored. Because, like, the, the shit that I be getting off is, like, you know, you want to wear these clothes, flat tummy TDs, you know? So, for me to get, like, a beauty brand where it's just about showing my face, I was, like, super honored. Plus, it's a black-owned beauty brand, so I'm excited about it. And I'm having so much fun with makeup. Thank you. But y'all know when I say, like, the pretty girls, right? Like, I just never been one of them. Like, you know, the pretty girls with, like, the light-skinned girls with the, you know, with the real curly hair. And those girls, like, I always been, like, I always had weird features. Like, you know, huge lips and not a small nose, but it fit my face. My eyes is big, but they not. It's just, I just had weird features. I, was, I never was, like, you know. I ain't have those, like. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Those, like, typical pretty girl features. So, yeah. It did. It made me feel like a pretty girl. Like, oh, that's nice. What part of Chicago I'm from? I'm from the South Side. I'm from the South. South, South, South. But yeah, it's more so I came on here to like just politic with y'all. Say what up. Your Highness, you know I fuck with you a long way. City Banger, y'all always come through support. Everybody who brought a badge, thank y'all. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you, twin. There you go. Pop through. Thank you. I appreciate you too. I think I'm not saying like, um, that right because i don't want y'all to miss school what i'm saying i'm not calling myself ugly but y'all know what i mean like it's a standard beauty in the world <laughs> and i just never was that <laughs> like y'all know what i'm trying to say like you know you know i want some of a girl but they get a little body and you know you found how to, out how to like put yourself together then yeah but you know, I don't know. I just never felt like that. 
You know what I'm saying? About? Then the family that I'm, my family that I'm in, everybody is like, you know, light skinned with petite features and gorgeous hair. I heard Cardi B say it too. She she was like, I wish I had hair like my sister, cause most people, most of the people in my family got hair like my, like my sister do. She was talking about her sister Hennessy, and I really felt that, like, <laughs> for real. And her hair is nice, like, it's thick, it's long, but I understand what she was trying to say. Yeah. So, yeah. Y'all understand what I'm saying? It's like a stand. Oh, men don't go through it, because men, y'all looks is determined by y'all financial status. Like, if you a rich nigga, you fine as hell. Like, you finna get all the girls. But for women, it's a standard. Like, if you look around at all the women that's, like, really wifed up, right? The wifed up girls, they all got that look. They do. I mean, granted, every now and again, you will see, like, a, um, what's LeBron James' wife name? What's her name? What's, up, what's LeBron James' wife's name? Cause I forget. I don't want to say the wrong thing. But, y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, every now and again, you'll see her. And that's like, nice. You know, hey, what's going on? What's the word now? But, for the most part, Savannah. Right, yeah, Savannah. You know, every now and then, shout out to Savannah. But it's so many few savannas you get me like most rich powerful men is wiping up that standard beauty type you know that like you know that look that mixed girl i guess people call it exotic that look i don't know what y'all think yeah no savannah is gorgeous to me like i love to see it like i'm glad they that's like one of my favorite couples, but they just so few and far in between. Like, it's hard to find. Now that I'm saying that to so y'all, y'all thinking about it, y'all see I'm right, right? So that's why I say I just never felt like I had that typical pretty girl look. You know? I think other standards of beauty, like, the way I look, not just my face, like just my face, right? I think other standards of beauty, like the way I look, like my skin color, my nose size, lip size, all, I think that's like a, a recent acceptance, like maybe within the last 10 years. But before that, it was just this general standard of beauty. And it's still, th those that standard of beauty is still, is still what it is. But anyway, it's hard for me to explain. Hopefully, y'all got what I was saying. Because I don't want to be rude to nobody looks. But I hope y'all was understanding what I'm saying. But, yeah. I really just came on here to politic with y'all. Say, hey. I can't believe I've been talking to y'all for this long. Oh, my God. Like, y'all make me so happy. I just love y'all. Y'all really be having me sitting here talking like somebody is here. <laughs> Like, I really be talking like somebody is here. I be, like, talking to y'all like somebody is really here. Um, but I really love y'all. I really miss y'all. I'm really finna keep up with y'all. I really want y'all to start watching my YouTube channel. Because I'm finna try it. I'm finna, like, try to really get into, like, you know, vlogging and shit. Like, because I always be, like, solo. So... At least I can have y'all with me, like, more. You know? Somebody just said it, yeah. Right, facts, because black people have actually pushed for us. Right. Like, it is, like, you know? And I think, I think maybe girls feel it more than guys. Because I told y'all, when I heard Cardi B say she wished she had hair like her sister, I really understood that. Like, because in my family, I'm, like, the dark, the black sheep kind of. You know, I got the bigger features. I'm the darkest person. You know, like that. 
I got the thickest hair, you know, like that. Uh, what's my YouTube channel name? Miss Juju. If you go on there, type in Miss Juju, y'all will see my page. I only got like 10,000 subscribers right now, and that's because we about to get started. But um, I just want y'all to come with me. Just fuck with me. We're going to take this journey together. Like, you said black men have it worse. Maybe you might be right. You might be right. I believe y'all. Like, I don't feel like people, um, oh, you said 2001. <laughs> you funny but i be feeling like i be wanting to understand because i don't feel like a lot of ways people don't understand what the girls go through you know what i mean so i be wanting to understand what you know but yeah so fuck with me we're gonna do it together um i don't want to i can't do it by myself i can't do it by myself i don't want to and i can't so y'all gonna come with me we finna do this youtube shit let's see if we can do it um, y'all can ask me those questions over there. We gonna entertain it and get into it, and I'm gonna try to own it. Like I'm gonna make it like my diary, so y'all can like just fuck with me whenever y'all want to come over, watch it back, and we gonna do everything. Like I'm literally gonna start taking y'all with me, let y'all eat with me, travel with me. Like I'm gonna have y'all right in my pocket everywhere I go. So I'm gonna try to hone in on it and really make it a thing. And it might go well, it might not, I don't know, but that's just how I'm feeling right now. And thank you, thank you. Hey, James. So, yeah, we're going to fuck with it. Make sure y'all follow my YouTube. I'm going to pop it up on my page. I'm going to start promoting it and stuff like that, and we're going to get into it. Um, But until then, I love y'all so much. You said you, you want some of my pictures, and I got plenty of pretty features i appreciate y'all but i want y'all to understand what i'm saying i'm talking about this typical standard of beauty i don't possess those features i don't think you get what i'm trying to say like y'all know what i'm trying to say it's a certain look that's like looked at like the most beautiful girl and i just don't feel like i have that look now I do feel like different looking girls, different standards of beauty been accepted probably within the last 10 years, but before it was just like, you know, you got to have like a little petite nose and you know, like smaller lips and like, you know, maybe some colored eyes and maybe some real curly hair. Like my hair is like really really thick and like my nose is larger. My lips are big. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So anyway, I love y'all. We finna get into this. Make sure y'all fuck with me on YouTube. I told y'all we finna do that. And um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, let me give y'all a 360 before I get up out of here. Let's see, can y'all see? y'all see not really let me switch So, yeah, anyway, um, I really love y'all. I love talking with y'all. Y'all make me so comfortable. I love our conversations. They be so lit. I love y'all engagements. Like, y'all really be involved. And we be really enjoying our stuff. So, um, of course, I'm going to be back. I'm going to promote my YouTube and shit. And we going to take it deeper, like... We've been doing this, I feel like I've been doing the same thing for so long, like, as it relates to engagements with y'all. Like, I feel like, um, it's just been, like, kind of lightweight. I'm ready to, like, just deepen our relationship. Like, I feel like I owe it to y'all. Well, I'm from Chicago, so I feel like I owe it to y'all. We're going to take this thing to the next level. It's time for y'all to come with me everywhere. And I would rather do it myself with y'all help. 
than to like because I told y'all they've been asking me for like interviews and stuff and I just I can comfortably talk to y'all but I just don't feel like I have anything to say on an interview but when I'm talking to y'all I can just do it so you know what I'm saying so um yeah we finna do this YouTube shit together like us and we're gonna go for it so anyway I love y'all I'm gonna let y'all go and I'm gonna talk to y'all later all right bye